Teen League versus Teen Justice. Justice. <laughs> Stupid Young Justice. <laughs> uh, teen Titans versus Justice League. So this movie came out years ago. What, what yeah, it thoughts? came out years ago. You're right, years ago. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm I'm glad you're not under the Roman idea of the calendar, and you're just like. Couple weeks is years to you. I saw this years. Whatever. Ago. You're stupid. I hate, I hate you. You're stupid. I hate you. Shut up. I'll do the talking. <laughs> okay. Start okay, the cool. topic. Movie was a nine out of ten. It was Already. Good. Go watch it. Go. Good. <laughs> Done. Bye. Nine. Really? No. Okay. Nine. I'll give it. A, I'll give it a eight point one. <laughs> eight point one. Waiting for eight point two update. <laughs> Stupid. There is not going to be any. Release a Blu ray with deleted scenes is 8.2 easily. <laughs> no. Okay, so no, eight, I'll give it a solid 8. That's my that's my honest score. I like to start the score just because I know you all faggots ain't going to watch this video. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a. Um, uh, 83. There you go. 8.3? Yeah. Damn, man. Not even! <laughs> Not even. <laughs> Nobody gets it. Wow. Um, Shit. So. Well, it start. What the hell did it start with? It started. It started with action. With action, and it was the. It was the just. It was the Justice League fighting like. Oh yeah. Um, their arch nemesis. Yeah, their arch nemesis. What is it called? Lex Luthor, <clears throat> that cat lady. Cheetah. Yeah, her name's Cheetah. It's pretty lame. Sometimes DC, I, I'm not a DC guy, but when I hear some of the names, I'm like, really? But Marvel's the same way. They have some lame names for some of their characters, too. Just a bad writing, I guess. No, it's just really old. Yeah. Or back in the day, it was okay, I think. I guess. Okay, what happened in the movie? I forgot. So it opens with that fighting montage to introduce the Justice League. Pretty cool. They apprehend all the enemies. Easily. But then... What? That what's his face gets possessed by Trigon. Tornado. <laughs> Hurricane Man. Yeah, there you I go. Know. What's his name? I don't know his name. Is. Yeah, he get yeah whatever. Red Tornado. <laughs> no, it's not him. It's not him. But the guy, yeah, he gets he gets. He's the one fighting Flash. Yeah, he's the one fighting Flash. He gets possessed by Trigon, and then you're like, oh shit, Trigon's the enemy in this uh, movie. So then the plot thickens. They um, cast the spirit of Trigon out of the guy. And then later it possesses Superman. Mm -hmm. And then from there it's a downward spiral where Trigon ends up possessing all of the Justice League except Batman. Because Batman... Well, Green Lantern was in there. Well, okay. The Justice League in the fucking movie, okay? <laughs> Where's Marsh and the Manager? Where's Marsh and the Manager? <laughs> He's the best out of all of them. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, he Prove is. me wrong. He is. No, I like Martian Manhunter, but shut up. Start bringing irrelevant shit into this movie. That's relevant. It's like, oh, we're Spider-Man. We're Spider-Man. Oh, that's irrelevant. Yeah, that's relevant. That's stupid. real relevant. Gosh. Stupid. stupid. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so what? Um, so. How come Batman doesn't get possessed? Because he uh, injects himself with some nerve gas and, like, almost kills himself, basically. Pretty weird. Yeah. And... He, um, so basically, like, even if Trigon were to possess him, he wouldn't be able to use his body. Mm -hmm. But, see, this is kind of where that logically breaks down, is that if he does get injected with nerve gas, wouldn't a demonic spirit have the power to, like, just make your body move however the hell it wants it to move? See, let's add some, let's add some, like, That's theological it. basis to this here. That's Batman, I don't know. Where's that Reddit AMA? I got a question for you. <laughs> Shit. Stupid. You guys didn't follow up with this. It wasn't consistent. You probably did. They just, you just didn't look it up. Um, Who was Batman fighting? Was he fighting anyone in the beginning? He was fighting... Oh, yeah, the Juggernaut dude. Oh, Solomon Grundy. <laughs> yeah, juggernaut. <laughs> I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. Uh, um, yeah, it wasn't the Juggernaut. <clears throat> no, but before that possession shit, Robin was there too when they were fighting in the beginning. Yeah, Robin is the guy that actually is instrumental in getting the Trigon to come out of the first person he possesses. Because he runs the, the bat jet right into him. Yeah. With missiles and it explodes. Nice. That's how you do it. And, and because of that. Because of that. Batman spinks his little bottom and <laughs> sends him to boarding school. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's fucking time. It's time to die. 
He sends him to boarding school, a.k.a. the Teen Titans. Hey, and T I T I N A. led by Starfire that has some impressive titties. Impressive jugglers. Impressive juggernauts. <laughs> and Those fucking fan service. Oh Thank you, Oh my DC. gosh, I know, because she still plays this, like, innocent kind of woman, and you're just like... You can't dress like that and act like that. Yeah, okay, thank come you. on now. Thank Mama, you. Mama didn't dress like that. Thank you, DC, for the fan service. Yes, yeah, thank you, DC. Thank you for not listening to the social Just Us Warriors. Just Us Warriors. It's just us. <laughs> just us, guys. Fucking SJWs, get the fuck out of here. God, yeah. <laughs> I want to say what I want to say. I want to offend who I want to offend. Okay? <laughs> and you're not going to tell me I can't do that. <laughs> I hope they watch this video. I hope you get offended. Because <laughs> when you're offended, you're defended. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay, fan service, yes. Okay, but yeah, thanks for turning um, thanks for turning this movie into a, a softcore porn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you for making Starfire hot. Yeah. Oh yeah, that robe scene. Oh yeah, we're talking. Oh, to, oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> she's talking. To, she's talking to Dick. She's talking to talking to Dick. There's some <laughs> subtle reference there. <laughs> Talking to a dick. Uh. <laughs> um, but Remember then there's their Skype calls. She like zoomed into the boobs. Yeah, that so fan service. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so the Teen Titans um, <clears throat> cyborgs in the Justice League, not in the Teen Titans. He does Boo. reference. He does reference being in the Teen Titans, though. Man, he's never in there. No, man. He said it later in the movie. You weren't fucking paying attention because you're too possessed by those boobs, dude. <laughs> so, like, fine. you're possessed by the boobs like Superman was possessed by Trigon. That's fine with me. Um, I gotta so, love them boobs. Um, <laughs> what did you say? Boobs? Boobs. Oh, I was like, dude, that's, boobs. that's man boobs. <laughs> like, <yeah>. Ew. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so, Starfire is mentoring the Teen Titans. She's not technically in the Teen Titans. So, this is... A little different, and for me, I'm not familiar with the Teen Titans comics, so fuck you guys if you have if you have comments about this. <laughs> I don't. It's so care. weird to me how like she was the boss and it wasn't Robin, because I'm so used to Robin being the boss from the old cartoon. Yeah, so you have Blue Beetle, Raven, Beast mm, Boy, Raven, and then Robin is the new addition. So and so there's and there's hell young. yeah there's only four of them, which is different because we're used to six. No. We're used five. to five. We're used to five. No Blue Beetle. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we're, we're obviously, we're going off the cartoon because that's obviously what came, was popular when we were growing up. But, um, it was pretty cool. Robin, um, well, Damien, mm. Wayne, <clears throat> um, he is driven to the Teen Titans Tower um, by Dick yeah. in his Nightwing getup. And then they, they get there, and then Robin is, like, posturing and saying, I'm going to beat all your asses. I fuck you. I hate you. I'm going to kill you. That's how he is. And um, he's about to kill Blue Beetle, and then Blue Beetle was like, Unibeam! Like, <laughs> yes! Like, almost, like, kills him. Like, blows his face off, That's basically. That's fucking awesome. That was freaking awesome. I loved that part. Because I'm like, oh, you had an ego, and now you don't have an ego. You almost just died. And I enjoyed every bit of it. And then Raven saves his face. Yeah. Saves his Two Face. Yeah, I know. That would have been funny. <laughs> the new Two Face. Um, so, yeah, so Raven heals him, and then the whole movie centered on Raven, basically, after that point. Yeah, fucking Raven. Uh, I still like her, though. She's yeah, still like, my waifu. <laughs> you fit perfectly together. No emotion, no. She has passion, emotion. No hope. <laughs> no sense, no brains. Wow! <laughs> she had all those in that no movie. No job. <laughs> wow! <laughs> She had all those in that movie. Yeah, I bet she did. She had a lot of emotions. Mm. Yeah. I'm just mad that she... Especially had... with Ray Robin. I'm just mad that her and Robin didn't kiss, to be honest. Ooh, that's too young, man. Nah. Love has no age. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, shit. Oh, yeah, because it's Starfire and Dick, huh? Yeah, man. Starfire and Dick. <laughs> Which is, still makes sense. Yeah, because like she can literally just have fun wherever she's at. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. You didn't get that one. Um. <laughs> Wait, so she's eighteen that way? Cause she, you have to be teen, or maybe nineteen. Who? 
Starfire. No, she's older, bro. She's like what? probably the same age as Dick. Imagine this. Dick was in the Teen Titans cartoon. That was Dick Grayson. Yeah, I know. So just imagine them grown up, basically. But and they're actually... Fucking... And they're not even together. It's Teen Titans, though. You have to be a teenager. Yeah, I know. She's the mentor. I said that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Okay. Cut that out so Move it's on. convenient. Move on. All right. Moving on. Um... Justice League gets possessed by Trigon after some, like, explaining. After Raven, like, admits to everyone that she's actually the daughter of Trigon. They thought mm -hmm. she was just an orphan with superpowers. Yeah. And so, at the climax of the film, Justice League gets possessed. Starfire and Dick are fighting him off while the Teen Titans go into Trigon's dimension to trap him into a crystal. Nice. Oh, and, and to mention, while Dick and Starfire are fighting the Justice League, um, oh, and Cyborg, because they managed to save Cyborg, um, Trigon is, like, basically walking the Earth. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, like, fucking, like, uh, the day the world stood still. Like, that fucking big-ass thing. He's walking just like that, just real slow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, the Justice League oh, tries to stop. Look like that summon from Final Fantasy XV. Uh, yeah. Uh, look like Ares from God of War. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> um, but yeah, so obviously, it's on a good note. They trap him in the crystal, blah, blah, blah. Beast Boy got some new powers. Beast Boy like transforms into some dope-ass looking demon creatures. In hell. In hell. I don't think he could do that when he's back, huh? I don't know. That'd be cool. Because that's what our question was, was like, does his catalog change permanently? Once he encounters new creatures. Dude, like, if I was Beast Boy, I'd turn into a parasite and just kill people from within. It's too easy. <sighs> too easy? Yeah. Wouldn't you want it to be too easy? Shit, you're trying to win. You're not trying to be that, honorable. Not Shit. them. Shit. Not them. Mm. But you totally skipped that. Oh. Sorry, go. I'm gonna go. I totally skipped what? Go. The carnival part? Yeah. Fuck the carnival part. <laughs> Stupid. That was fun, man. That was fun. That was oh, fun. DDR Max Revolution Remix Double 2.0. Yeah. Volume 8. <laughs> um, yeah. So they, there's this stupid montage where there's this really stupid punk song with this really stupid, like, romance. This stupid, fun what? I dancing. Love romance. Stupid. They use their powers. Dude, Raven looked pretty good. In that skirt. Oh, that schoolgirl skirt, dude. Wait. Yeah, she looked pretty good. If I was younger, I'm just saying. I'm not he's saying. not. He's 40, so it's all right. <laughs> Don't Shit. worry. He doesn't have to worry about that. He, the biggest the biggest issue that David deals with is um, um trying not to be a pedophile, basically. <laughs> oh, wow. Because he's so old. <laughs> um, nice. But, yeah, so that carnival part, that's a side note. That doesn't even fucking count for anything. <laughs> Gosh, like you could cut that part of the movie, it would have been a 10 out of 10. Wow, um, no, that was my favorite part. Oh yeah, I bet it was. Well, wow, it was pretty legit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, legitly stupid. His legitness. Legitimately stupid. <laughs> no, there was something else that happened there. That. Oh yeah, when they're on the uh, Ferris wheel, <sighs> and Blue Beetle and what's his face, Beast Boy. Do you see? It? Remember that? <laughs> yeah, they're Woo! like. You guys are not on a roller coaster. You're on a Ferris yeah, wheel. It's the most boring ride at the carnival. <laughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> and should have been on a roller coaster. Okay, uh, why did you have to get sidetracked with this stupid, meaningless part of the movie? Oh, gosh. <laughs> they gotta know. They gotta know they the have movie. To Go know. watch the fucking movie. Gosh. <laughs> Don't even watch this video. Shit. Why are you watching this video right now? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Guys, piss me off. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, what else are you gonna say? Hurry up. End this fucking video. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> guess who Damian Wayne meets in Trigon's Dimension? Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Kratos. Yeah, he meets Kratos. <laughs> Fucking Kratos. <laughs> Batman! Okay. Um, yeah. So he gets um, the blades of Athena. <laughs> And he kicks Batman's ass. No. Um, so it's uh, I can see that. Rage Al Ghul. Sorry, that's the pronounced word. I like Raz, but, but, but. Rage. Rage. My name's Raz. Rage. Raz. 
Garage. Okay, what, what happened? Um, <laughs> so Damien meets his, his grandfather, his mm. grandpapa. <laughs> He's like, Papa! Gosh. Where you been, Papa? So weird. I be miss you, Papa. And he's voiced by Kratos. Demos. Dun dun dun. Demos. Yeah. Yeah, that was a funny. That actually was like a really funny part of the movie because I'm like, dude, David, does that sound like fucking, fucking Kratos? In the fucking credits. Man, we should have recorded that part. We're all looking at it. And he's all. David's all like running his finger down the credits. He's like, fucking Kratos. Yes. All right. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so they have a fighting part, which is cool, and then Damien, like, kills him, but it's really, like, just an illusion, because it's just one of Trigon's minions, it turns out. Um, Remember when he took it, sliced his head off? Yeah! And then the fucking body just takes the head, like, this is mine. Yeah, 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 and then, like, the minions, like, drag the body, but it's, like, as they're dragging, it turns into one of his minions, so you know it's, like, probably just an illusion. But yeah, Damien, Damien Wayne kind of like seals the fact that he's going to fight for justice and righteousness and goodness. And he's going to be a good guy. And then Raven like decides to bounce on him at the end. They're like leaving like, come on Raven, let's go back home, bro. And she's like, I think I'm going to stay here in hell where I'm happy and warm. Yeah. No, she on? says she wants to guard the crystal that they just trapped Trigon in. But then there's something happens. Mm. They change her mind because Damien has the hots for her and he Hell says yeah. and he says, just put the crystal in your head. She didn't say that. He's like, just put it in yeah. your head. Just put it in your head and it's all in your head. Nothing's gonna happen. And then at the end it's this like funny part where like Trigon's like yelling like a little bitch inside of her head <laughs> in that crystal. So yeah. movie was good. Eight out of ten. For me, anyway, 8.3 out of 10 for David. Yeah. Well, you never know why. What? It said they'll never know why it's an 8.3. Well, I can I imagine that 8.2 of those points are just for the boobies. <laughs> no, 8 of those are for the boobies. 8 of those are for the boobies. <laughs> the point three is for point the three is for the plot. <laughs> yes. I heard boobies, I come running. <laughs> Watch it if you haven't watched it, you know. You know what's next? The Killing Joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's still rolling. Oh, it's still rolling? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but pretty much shit. If jokes could kill. Nice. Yeah. All right, let us know what you thought about the movie if you saw it. If not, go see it. And yeah, if you don't want to If you don't want to see it, then I don't know why the fuck you watch this video. Uh, uh. Fuck! Gosh, terrible. Yeah. Whoever watched this video, loser.